but I thought the visiting the places would give me a first-hand experience of the problems. Yes, the President of the Bar has mentioned a number of issues. I can assure you that I will be taken up with right earnest, not only in Baramulla, but other districts also. I have been gathering information, personally visiting wherever possible, and I would, in association with my colleagues on the bench, would take up a very holistic view of the problems faced at the district level. And I'll make, I can assure you that I'll make all my attempts and never at my level, best level, to see that the issues plaguing the district judiciary in the districts of JNK are addressed to the maximum possible. As I address this gathering, primarily consisting of the members of the bar, my appeal to the members of the bar is that today, in the entire country and also in JNK, perhaps judiciary institution, which has been able to retain the confidence of the people, and this confidence of the people is primarily because of the work we do both as judges and lawyers. It is very important to remember that the problems faced by the people are myriad, numerous. And uh, we can understand the administration also doing the level best to address them. Yet there may be issues which will require the intervention of the judicial system. I was also just mentioned about this inadequacy in a number of judges, especially at the magistrates. As we all know, it is the magistrates who play a very important role in our democratic system and upholding rule of law. Any person who gets arrested has to be produced within 24 hours. It's not merely a provision of CRPC. It is a constitutional mandate. And he takes, he or she takes the immediate decision whether to remand him to police custody, or to remand him to judicial custody or to release him on bail. He or she has to take a very important role immediately. And sometimes I feel as a chair of the High Court that in fact the magistrates play a much bigger role than the High Courts and the Supreme Court judges because you are directly dealing with the lives, the liberties of the citizens in the first instance. So much is the importance of the judiciary, especially at the grassroots level. And I'm very happy to note that Jammu Kashmir judiciary has done commendably well in discharging this constitutional role. Yes, I have seen also acute dearth in a judicial number of judicial officers. I can assure you that we are taking at our best level to ensure that these posts are filled up at the earliest possible. But these posts, judicial officers' posts, are not like any other post in the service. A doctor, whenever he is appointed, he can straight away go and treat the patients. But a judicial officer, he needs to be trained. That itself takes a number of months, sometime a year also. So there may be some delay in actually filling up the posts. We are hopeful that the matter is pending with the Government of India. We are pursuing the matter. I have been personally attending this issue. We are hopeful that within a few weeks at the 
lowest level rung of the judicial system. Unless we make these appointments, there will be some difficulties. All having said that, I would also like to say a few things about the role of the lawyers. I know the lawyers are going through a serious problems, infrastructural problems which have been mentioned also. We will be trying to address it as much as possible. But what is important is the attitude of the lawyers. Lawyers, we are trained in our education, in our practice in India. In the process, we continue this, the process of litigation, of win or lose, nobody would like to lose. Every lawyer would like to win. This adversarial system has its own toll in the judicial system vis-a-vis -vis the common man. A common man comes, seeks help of the judicial system to see that he gets certain relief, that the problem he faces is resolved. Yes, adversarial system which we have been continuing, which is part of the Indian legal system, I do not know whether we have been able to get justice through this system. But this system, adversarial system, having been established for so many years, decades, centuries in fact, which we have been inherited from the Anglo-British legal system, is likely to continue for a long period. But we have to think afresh. That is why the importance of Lok Adalat comes. <laughs> Lok Adalat, as you know, is a legal process where we decide cases on the basis of understanding and agreement amongst the parties, which does not necessarily have to be in conformity with the rules and practices and procedures. Of course, any decision arrived at should not be illegal, contrary to law. But we, we don't have to bother of the procedures, methodology, which we are required to follow in the court proceedings. This is a big opportunity. We may, many of the lawyers may feel that this is a kind of, well, once a while exercise which has been happening. But I think a time has come to see that we adopt this process by our reconciliation, by our mediation, to resolve the problems of the litigants. But why should we adhere, what follow this conciliation, mediation, arbitration proceeding? But um, a, a thought process is going on even at the highest level of the Indian judiciary.